Hey guys, welcome back to another HTML programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about tables in HTML, how to use them, and why they're useful. So tables are basically just what like they're called. They're just a table of data which you can uh, use to like display um, sort of like uh, any kind of data really. Uh, but yeah, they're really easy to set up in HTML. Uh, because it actually has a built-in table element so I'm going to show you guys how to use it and actually um, what to do with it so first I'm going to do is come over here and create this and uh, we don't actually need any JavaScript since it's all going to be in HTML so what we want to do is let's just create a header here let's just call it a table which stores um, data about people their name, age uh, and gender. Okay, so let's have these three things, and you can see it just comes up there, just like that. And let's just create this table which we want. So, first tag you're going to want to use is the table tag, just like that. And you'll see nothing actually comes up here. Uh, I'm just going to inspect element, and you can see that uh, oh, we have the table, but nothing's actually coming up. So all we want to do is we want to add some data to it. So you add data in form of rows. So TR actually stands for table row. And inside of this, we can just put a table uh, TD, which I think stands for table data. And you can just put some data in here. So this is going to be our top row. So let's just call this our columns. And on a, let's just call this column headers. Because columns could be a bit confusing. So yeah, let's just say we want one column which is going to be the name, one column which is going to be the age, and one column for the gender. And you can see that comes up like that. So we have that so far. Now what we also want to do is add in some actual data rows. So let's go to here, add a new TR, and then we can just add some TDs. So let's have one for aria, uh, and let's have a hundred, and let's just have male. And you can see that that comes up like that. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's, it might be a little hard to see what the column titles are. And what we can actually do to fix that is instead of using td for the column headers as well, we can use a special tag called th, and that just basically stands for table header. And then if we just replace all of these, we can see that it actually makes it bold, making it a bit of, bit more obvious as to which one it is. And the next thing you'll notice is that we actually need to fill out the table using individual table rows. So even if we don't have data for, let's say, the age, uh, let's just make a new row here. Let's just call this person2. And if we don't have data for the age, uh, we can't just leave it out because then male would go into the age category. So what we have to do is we actually have to just leave the TD there but just don't put anything in so yeah that's uh, another thing you can do and then finally uh, another thing you might realize is that it looks a bit bad but obviously since this is just a table element we can just go into the CSS and actually edit this ourselves uh, I mean a table isn't actually that customizable which is why I like to build out custom tables uh, just using grids and flex boxes uh, it's a lot more customizable and it is a lot easier to work with than tables but you can still do some customization so I know you can have things like borders uh, I'm just going to set this to black uh, you can see it creates a border on the outside and I know there's a way of creating borders on the inside but I can't actually remember it I think it's like uh, border inner or something or inline uh, let's see if this is the one uh, no, that's probably just on the inside. But yeah, I know there's a way of getting borders in between the cells, but if you would do it using uh, custom, then you could just use a div and then just create a border on that div, which is why it's a bit easier. And then we can also change a thing like font size. Let's say it wants to be larger, and we can do that. Or if we want it even larger, we can set an actual value, like uh, let's just set 60 pixels, and there it is. And yeah. There's all sorts of issues because like there's no space between that uh, and overall I'd say a table is not really that customizable so in a future tutorial I'll explain how to create a custom table but for now this is pretty decent uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial.
Bye.